Spoiler alert! Uh, this is just an exercise for me to speak in English to you. So, so just let's try it and let me know. Salut à toi Eh oui, tu vas te demander euh, vraiment, euh, qu'est-ce que je fais encore là Écoute, j'ai une idée, et je me suis dit qu'à cela ne tienne, je vais essayer. Je me suis dit que pour les gens qui parlaient anglais, j'allais essayer de faire un résumé de mes pensées sur la V11 de Inmotion, but in English now. So, let me start again uh, Hello, my friend Usually when there is a new review, my dear friend Karine translated it, but today she cannot. And I thought to myself, why not try to give my thoughts on the V11 in short and in English? Just so you know, this will not be a complete review, just my point of view. You asked for it, you have it. And in the end, if you watch the video and you like it and you share it and your friends watch it and like it and share it again, who knows, that could become a habit. I could give you my thought directly in English for the short version. Yes, because the long version will still be in French. Ah, you could watch it in French too and improve your French. Who knows? Sometimes you can come to Paris and meet some girls or some friends. The V11 from me in motion is a great wheel. If you like to drive everywhere at any time under any circumstances. It has an IP55 rating that means that it can handle spray of water and dust from all directions. From an ergonomic point of view now, except the Bluetooth speakers, this wheel has all you need on a wheel. Nice pedals, nice and powerful lights, nice handle with a nice cut button, nice but too low trolley, you know? Uh, but a nice and sturdy one. You have two 2.5 ampere charge ports and a USB port. I told you, you have everything. Its shape is nice and flat on the sides. It does not hurt the knees or the calf. You can have a good control to drive. Great, yeah, that's a great wheel to drive. On the road, it's all soft and fluid. Off-road, it's great and secure. And you'll tell me, what about the suspension? Let's make two cases. The cases you want the wheel. So let's just say, it's super to have a suspension on a wheel. Great. Or you don't know if you want the wheel. So, in this case, let's just say the suspension is crap. It's not an absorbent suspension, it's a rebound suspension. Do you understand? It's not like... It's... I like this language. It's better than English. Let's talk uh, onomatope. No. The, the thing I mean is like... You have four plugs, two on the bottom, two on the top, to put pressure on the suspension. And I've tried everything, and it's harder and softer on the rebound, but it's all rebound and rebound. And you may like it like that, you know? I know some people who like when it's very soft and... But let me be clear, the suspension's job is well done. I mean, if you drive on a hole, you won't feel it at all. But if you compare the suspension, not the wheel, but if you compare the suspension to the S18, which the S18 suspension suspend all the wheel and the driver, there, the V11 just suspended the, the driver with a light spring, you know? But if you like it smooth, you certainly like it the way it is. But for me, it's not precise enough, you know? This wheel, the V11, is not just about the suspension. That makes me feel that's a good wheel. Because in the end, you forget about the suspension. So you have a good wheel, and on top of that, you have a suspension. So in fact, it's a great, great wheel. And there you are. 
I hope this could help you. If you want a wheel to travel, you can definitely go for it. The battery is good, the motor is way enough, and you can charge it very fast. You have all the options you need. And if you need a Bluetooth speaker, you can buy it and put it on your ears. So, there you go. Have a great and safe drive, and if you like the video, after all, let me know and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.